Our next speaker, very brief, because we have a session, a gist session, like gist proper, okay? Which will be very brief as well, because I know that we have to go because of time and traffic and everything. So we have a next speaker, a beautiful lady here. Yeah. Where the ladies are, say yay! Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we have Chinelo Bali. She was supposed to be our first speaker, but you know, traffic made her come late and some things. So we had to rearrange. You know, so when you clap for her, clap for her well. Do you understand? Okay, so we have Chinelo Bali, the Nigerian born British woman who appeared on BBC, um, BBC's Great British Show and B. Um, where she, well, wow, where she wowed judges and fellow contestants with her free hand cutting method. Chinelo is the author of Freehand Fashion and is an expert on BBC's second upcoming show, um, Saved and Remade. She's happily married with a beautiful daughter, Demi Lade, who my son is so in love with. <laughs> She's a marriage counselor at the Harvester's Church. She's very passionate about people leading a healthy marriage. Okay, so let's make welcome the beautiful, the delectable, the hottest mama in town. Good evening, everybody. Um, I really, oh, good evening, sir. <laughs> I really don't like speaking in public. Um, it's not what I'm used to, it's not what I like doing, but when Grace asked me to, I said I would. Um, I usually prefer a conversation style, you know, which is probably what we're doing next week. Yes. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed this so far. Um, I particularly enjoyed what the last speaker had to say um, because it kind of ties in nicely. So this is just going to be a very brief thing I'm doing. Again, it's just gist. I have my notebook here, but I'm going to ignore it. And um, it's just a follow-on from what he said, really. I'm going to avoid eye contact with everybody simply because I'm very shy. Um, <laughs> Right, so um, I'm going to be talking about purpose and marriage as well, but from a different angle from the previous speaker, um, he spoke about what the purpose of marriage is, but I'm going to be speaking about purpose, um, our sense of self, and how that leads into marriage, and how that then goes on to affect the marriage. Um, that seems like a lot to talk about in my brief 10 minutes, so I'm just going to literally speed through it. Um, so one thing I really, really connected with, and I mean, it's here as well, is mindset. Now, our mindset is directly linked to our self-identity, how we view ourselves and what we feel we are. And that is in turn directly linked to our sense of purpose, you know. And um, so I just want to further buttress what he was saying about mindset and how important it is to have the right mindset and to be renewed in the mind. Um, because like he was saying, there's a lot of people who go around with this negative notions of marriage. And I mean, you can't blame people for that because it's what we see. You know, the world shows us really poor quality marriages and it just feels like who's having a good marriage these days. But I can assure you there are fantastic marriages you know, fantastic marriages are not fairy tales. You know, they're real people living real lives and striving to be better people. And he said something else which resonated with me very strongly, and this is one of my taglines. Marriage is not there to make you happy, it's there to make you holy. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but it, the longer you are in marriage, it kind of helps you to transform more and more into that image that Christ is looking for, or what he's expecting from us, because Ah, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's marriage is great, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and um, it's unfortunate that people who are not in marriage yet nowadays, most people have these negative ideas of the opposite sex. You know, like he was saying, most women now believe men are scum, and a lot of men think, oh, women are gold diggers, women are this, women are that. You know, I have two examples of people very close to home. There was a young girl, um, she's actually a younger cousin of my husband, and she, was, she and I were speaking, and she said, oh, all men are trash. This girl is like 18, I'm like, what experience of men do you have to just label all men as trash, you know? And these, but unfortunately, these are things that we hear a lot, you know, and the unfortunate thing is that we tend to embody 
our the experiences of people who have gone ahead of us. So maybe aunties, sisters, mothers, you know, we take on all those experiences and we color our own world thinking this is how it's going to be, this is how it has to be because all men are gonna behave like that man that broke my auntie's heart or all women are gonna behave like that woman that woman that stole my, my dad my uncle's money or something. You know, we just feel like everybody's going to be these negative images that we have and it doesn't have to be like that. It, so what, I, what I'm trying to say, basically, is if we do not change our mindsets, we walk around with these negative mindsets, and you're going to attract what you're putting out. Because if your mindset is all men are evil, or all girls are this, or all men, if that's your mindset, you know, and if that is what is coloring your self, your, your, your idea of your self-identity, you will, naturally, you will put that, okay, it's like, I'm a woman. If I'm going somewhere, if I'm in a restaurant, for instance, and I need to ease myself, I naturally go towards the women's restroom. You know, when I get to the, the doors, and there's the one with the woman's um, sign and the one with the male sign, I'll naturally go towards. I, no one needs to tell me, oh, you know, you are a woman, go to that one. I will just go in that direction. So it's the same way, if we have certain mindsets, which has now, you know, influenced our identities, our, our ideas of ourself, when you see two doors, you're going to naturally walk towards the one you identify with. So if you identify with negative connotations of the opposite sex, you will naturally gravitate towards people who embody those, those negativities that you feel like all men are this or all women are that. You know? So how that links to purpose is, you know, our purpose in life is greatly accelerated or affected by who we choose to do life with. You know, so if from this negative mindset that one has embodied, they've attracted the wrong kind of spouse, or you know, they've attracted negativity, it's only going to affect the purpose in a negative way. You know, whereas if we change our mindset, which is where the beginning of it starts from, is from the mind, you know, and renew our minds and get rid of all these things that we've taken on and we've built up over the years, and marriage is this, marriage is for this, or when women are like this and men are like that, you know, and we allow what God has said in his words to be the benchmark or to be what we believe it is supposed to be, then we'll naturally gravitate towards accomplishing God's will, you know. So that's just my own little addition to what was said already. I did have other things in here, but I'm, I'm conscious of the time. So thank you very much for having me here today. Thank you.